Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. Uh, the commentary on this one is going to be relatively short. Uh, welcome to Slocum, Alabama. Uh, this was the town that I was talking about briefly the other day when I did my video of Dothan, Alabama. Now, Slocum, Alabama is located in Geneva County in the southeast section of the state. And this town was incorporated in 1901. It is 23 minutes from Dothan, Alabama. They call this the home of tomatoes because tomatoes are produced here. I mean, tomatoes are, uh, are grown and processed here, I believe. And the name of this town came, and the name of this town was named after the Postmaster Frank W. Uh, Slocum. And the population here is 1,816 people, and this town has lost a whopping 39.1% of its people as of the 2020 census. Now, crime here is relatively low. Both violent and property crime are well below the national average. And if you're looking to purchase here, the median home price is only $107,000, which is not bad at all. And I forgot to look up the cost of rent. I want to say off the top of my head that you're going to probably be looking at $600 to maybe $1,300 a month. And as far as the racial makeup, you got 69.7% white, 24.3.3% black, 3.5% Hispanic, and all the other and all the other ethnicities are less than 1%. Now you do got some talented men that come from this town. So for those of you that live here and maybe you don't think your life is going to amount to much because you live in this small town. Here's a few examples that will hopefully help some of you out. I mean, now granted, I don't have too many minors watching this channel. So for all you parents out here that are watching this video, you know, if you or your children have little to no sense of hope I'm going to name a few people that hopefully will help you out a little bit hopefully they can you know hopefully they can get you guys motivated if you need that motivation you got Brad Baxter who is a former NFL running back from, eight, from 1989 to 1996 got Tony Bowick, a former NFL, you know, a former NFL f football player for the Atlanta Falcons, graduated from Slocum High School, played from, played from 1989 to 2004. Then you got Clay Holmes, who played for the New York Yankees. He was a pitcher for them. Gradu also graduated from Slocum High School. And he still plays for the New York Yankees. He's been playing for them since 2018. So hopefully my little example of people that grew up in this area and they've, you know, and they made it big out here. Hopefully some of you can look at my examples and think about it for a minute. I mean, granted you may not ever play professional sports granted you may not make the kind of money that they make most of us don't but whatever you can do that's better than what you're doing now will be an improvement and you know as far as what I think about this small town you know it's just you know to me it's a typical it's typical small town Alabama down here. 
I mean, housing prices right now are relatively affordable despite the crazy housing market. And you're not far from Dothan, Alabama, so you can go to, and also you're not far from Geneva, Alabama either. So those are the two communities that you can go and visit for more and better amenities than what's here in Slocum. And that's about all I have for my commentary. Like, and as far as what I think about Slocum, again, if you're looking to be somewhere not too far from Dothan, somewhere to where you'll have regular access to basic amenities, I mean, this might be a this might be an okay place to consider home. I mean, it's, it appears to be quiet and low key. And as many smaller communities in Alabama, many of these houses are gonna come with a sizable lot. So it's a good place to move to. And if you're looking into homesteading, it's a good place to find a property that where you can homestead. And at the same time, not be far from the amenities of larger cities. And that's about all I got for my commentary. Like I said, it would be short. So, you guys know what to do right now. Subscribe to the channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and I do appreciate every, one, every last one of you. So on that note, y'all have a blessed one, and I'll see you on the next one.